to yep. watch too. Sounds good to me. And go. Okay. Oh, so many people are joining. I'm so happy to see everybody's names. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. So we're going to wait for a few more people to join. Um, should we do introductions? Yeah, let's do introductions. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Hudson, and this is... Also Miss Hudson. Welcome. Uh, we are sisters. We're so excited to see you guys today. <clears throat> people? Does that yeah. seem about right for our class size? Yeah, there we can begin. I believe so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and begin. You guys can still enter once we've started, so no pressure if anybody's getting in a little bit late. All right. Perfect. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about triangles and quadrilaterals, everybody. Yeah, and our lesson objective today, students, which are you lovely people, uh, our third grade class, look at you, so beautiful, uh, you will be able by the end of this lesson to identify all of the triangles and all of the quadrilater quadrilaterals tongue-tied uh, from their special properties. Ooh. <laughs> Special properties. Special properties. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move to the next slide. Okay, so we're going to go over our schedule to start with. I know I always like to know what's coming ahead Me of too. time. Me too. I like to know and be prepared for what's coming up. But first off, we just want to say welcome and that we are so, so glad, glad you're, you're here. here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a temperature check. We're just going to see how we're feeling and if we're ready for math today, just test the water a little bit. Are you ready for math today? I'm definitely ready for math today. Are you ready for math today? I'm pretty ready for math today. Today. Right. So then after that, we're going to go into a review of our prior vocabulary terms. So we're going to see what we can remember and what we need to revisit. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're gonna get started with our triangles, all of our special triangles and all of their special properties. After that, we're gonna go into our quadrilaterals and learn about their special properties. Yeah, and then after that, we're gonna take a super fun, super easy quiz. Uh, it's gonna be our wrap up quiz and we have to make sure that we are paying attention during our lecture, okay? Having our listening ears on. Yeah. Our watching eyes open <laughs> and then after that we're gonna have an end of class discussion and collaboration together because yeah. we want to hear everybody's feedback and uh yeah. yeah so we're gonna stop collaborate and listen like the great vanilla ice said you I guys are probably that. too young to understand who vanilla ice is are we third graders yes yeah. I, us assuming. third graders all of us third graders <laughs> all right moving on so we are going to start with our temperature check. So we are going to answer the question, how are we feeling about math today? We are going to type one word in the chat and we have to remember to think before we chat. We have to keep it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and or kind. That is one of my favorite acronyms. All right, so remember one word in the chat. Are you nervous? David has, says that he has a concern. Okay. Let's see. David, would you like to unmute and share with us? Yeah, I was wondering if I needed access to a printer um, just because I don't have access to any of that and I don't want to fall behind in your class. Great point, David. Thank you so much for unmuting and telling us that. So, no, you don't need an access. You don't need access to a printer today. All of the stuff that you're going to need today, you can find on this Nearpod or in our Google Drive, which we'll introduce a little later. Thank you so much for your question. That was super helpful. Thank All you. right. So in the chat, of course, we um excited, 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 scared. Thank you so much for sharing that, Brian. A little scared. I was nervous. I don't like math. I was just like that when I was your age, Noemi. I promise when we move forward, we're going to make it super approachable, super, super easy peasy, super fun. Absolutely. Nervous. Thank you for sharing, you guys. All right. So let's see. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm glad to know how we're feeling going into our lesson today. Whoa! <laughs> Triangles and quadrilaterals. Those are some big words. Let's review them. Okay, so now we're going to go over the terms that we went over during our last class. So I will go over our first time. Is that okay with you, Miss Hudson? Yeah, of course. But wait, before we get into our vocabulary review, Miss Hudson, we would like to share with you this Google Drive that we created um, that you can all refer to. Uh, remember, we mentioned this at the beginning of school. 
Um, so we have some fancy translations here for all of our vocabulary terms for the day. Yeah. For all of our hispanohablantes in our <laughs> class today. Uh, so feel free to access that um, to get any help with any of the vocabulary we'll be doing today. Mm -hmm. All right. Miss Hudson, you could start us off. All right, our first word is polygon. Can we say it together? Polygon. Okay, so what is a polygon? So remember, we talked about this last time. So a polygon is a closed two dimensional figure made up of straight lines. Miss Hudson, what's your favorite polygon? Oh, my favorite polygon is a star. A star is a great polygon. Mm -hmm. Miss Hudson, I have a question. Yes. Is a circle a polygon? No, a circle is not a polygon. Why not? It's made up of a bunch of curves. They have to be straight lines. Oh, that mm. makes sense. Maybe we should move on to the next term, do you think? I think so too. So the next term that we have is quadrilateral. That's a part of our um, title here today. So remember, we went over this, we introduced this vaguely last class. A quadrilateral is a polygon, there's that fancy word again, with four sides. Count them, one, two, three, four sides. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go into our next vocab term, which is congruent. That's a big one. Sounds distinguished. Absolutely. Established. It has a 401 k I think. <laughs> congruent. What does congruent mean? Congruent means having the same size and shape. Oh, right. So would an example of congruent be a circle and a square? It would not be. Oh, why? Because a circle and a square can be the same size, but they cannot be the same shape. You're right, I have to read the full definition, Miss Hudson. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The next term we have is triangle. That mm. was also in our title. A triangle is a polygon. There's that fancy word again, polygon, with three sides. Count them, one, two, three sides. Oh, Miss Hudson, have you seen triangles in the real world? I have, you know what my favorite triangles are? What? The ones in Egypt, the pyramids. That's right, they're made up of a bunch of triangles. They they're my favorite triangles in the world. Okay, I think we should go for our last term, which is parallel. 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 What does parallel mean, Miss Hudson? Parallel describes lines that exist on the same plane that will never intersect. Do we know what intersect means? Cross. To cross, so they will never cross each other. So they're, they're not good friends. They don't like each other very nope. much. All right, so that wraps up our review, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on. So we're going to go into a poll now, mm -hmm. and we just want to see how everybody's feeling about our vocabulary terms today. So feel free to answer. So for our poll, does anybody have any questions about the poll? Oh, uh, Bonnie does have a question. Bonnie, what's your question? <laughs> Iris's favorite triangles are pizza slices. Me too, Iris. I love pizza. I've changed my answer. I agree with you, Iris. Can everyone see our responses? That's a fantastic question, Bonnie. Would you like to answer that, Miss Hudson? So, no, no one can see your responses. As you can see here, all of the names are asterisked out. So only Miss Hudson and I will be able to review and see what everyone's answered. But feel free, it's totally anonymous. Okay, let's see. Let's see what our answers are. So mostly I feel confident, but we do have a few people who think they could use a little extra help. That which is totally fine because the next thing that we're going to do is an activity to prepare you for the rest of our lesson. So no need to feel nervous. We're going to get through this together. Okay, so we're going to do a matching activity. You're going to have a minute to match our terms with our definitions. So go ahead and get started. We'll give you some time to think. Mm. Miss Hudson, what did you have for lunch today? What did I have for lunch today? Ooh, I had chicken tacos for lunch today. Yummy. Mm. I had lasagna for lunch today. Mm, lasagna. It was heavenly. Mm. My lasagna was a quadrilateral in case you were wondering. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh, we're getting some responses in. Ooh, we're getting lots of matches. That's very good to see. Loving the participation today, guys. We're doing a couple people are already done. Very good. You still have plenty of time. We still have a little over 20 seconds left. Feel free to take your time with these vocabulary terms. We want to make sure that everybody feels confident. Doing well, doing well. Okay, we've just reached the 10 second mark. Please go ahead and finish up.
Very good, awesome guys. Job. Oh, great. That looks fantastic. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. I think so, too. You guys did amazing today. Amazing. Okay. Just in case, if anybody has any questions about vocabulary moving on, please feel free to ask if mm -hmm. anybody needs any further clarification. All right, we're moving into special triangles. So the first thing that we're going to do as far as our special triangles are concerned is we're going to watch a super fun video from our friend. He's a robot. <laughs> So, just a note. So, when I press this next screen, it's going to prompt you to play the video. We're not going to do that. We're just going to watch the video play on my screen through the screen share, okay? Does everybody understand? Yes, yes, awesome. yes. Thank you, Caitlin, for Thank the you, thumbs Caitlin. up. All right. We're going to go. This device only? Let's try that. Let's do that. All right. Can somebody give me a thumbs up if you can hear the video? Smile and learn. Thank you, Caitlin. Today, we're going to learn about the triangle. Do you know how many types of triangles there are? A triangle is a geometric shape with three sides. One, two, and three. The point where two sides meet is called the vertex, and all triangles have three vertices. There is an interior angle for each vertex. Did you know that it if we added all angles together, the result would always be 180 degrees. We classify triangles depending on their sides or angles. If we classify triangles depending on their sides, we would get three types, equilateral, isosceles, and scalene triangles. Fantastic. I'm going to pause for just a second so we can clarify what was just said. So, do you notice anything about these triangles to start off, Miss Hudson? They all look a little different. That can seem a little tricky, can't it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty tricky. Okay, so I firstly notice that our first triangle, this equilateral triangle, all sides are the same colors. What do you think that means? When all sides are the same color, for this video, that just means that all sides are the same length. Oh. Mm -hmm. So in this second triangle, when we only have two sides that are red and one blue, what does that mean? That means the sides that are red are both the same length and the side that's blue is not. The blue side's a little shorter and that's the isosceles triangle. Perfect. Okay. That's funny. The scaling triangle, none of the colors are the same. What do you think that means? I don't think any of the sides are equal to the other. Not even one. Not even one. Nope. nope. Zero size. Zilch. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on. A triangle with three equal sides is called an equilateral triangle. As we deduced. <laughs> Deduce. A triangle with two equal sides is called an isosceles triangle. Mm. And a triangle whose sides are all different is called a scalene triangle. If we classify triangles depending on their angles, we would get three types. Okay. The acute oh, triangle, the right triangle, and the obtuse triangle. Okay. A triangle with three acute angles is called an acute triangle. A triangle with one right angle is called a right triangle. And a triangle with one obtuse angle is called an obtuse triangle. Let me wait one second. All right, just to clarify. So inside each triangle, you might see little blue bumpies around the vertices, which is a vocabulary we learned earlier in the video. Mm -hmm. These little bumps are talking about the angles because these triangles, we can tell the difference using the angles. So something interesting that we can remember from last week, right? Tri means three, angles, angles. So tri, three, angles, triangles. So on the inside, if we just wanted to do a little bit of recap in the video, the acute angle, right? All angles are less than 90 degrees. Remember, we learned that last week, right? So the right angle is exactly 90 degrees and the obtuse angle is over 90 degrees. All right, let's continue. Okay. Let's recap. Classifying triangles depending on their sides, we have the equilateral triangle in which all sides are equal, the isosceles mm -hmm. triangle in which two sides mm -hmm. are equal, and the scalene triangle in which all sides are different. 
classifying triangles depending on their angles, we have the acute triangle with three acute angles, the right triangle with one right angle, and the obtuse triangle with one obtuse angle. Now you know all the types of triangles. Way to go! Thank you, Mr. Robot. Always a pleasure. All right. So now we're going to review what we just learned in our video. So, are you okay if I start off with the triangles we classify by sides? Of course, Miss okay. Hudson. So we're going to look here. How nifty we have the pictures from the video. It's like we planned that oh or something. Goodness. You're so welcome. <laughs> So first to start off, we're going to do our equilateral triangle. So let's remember, an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. And we can tell that here because all the sides are the same colors. Into our next triangle, our isosceles triangle. That's a very fancy big word. I like that word. Isosceles. It sounds like a Greek philosopher. Absolutely. Maybe they philosophized about triangles. triangles. Yes, I agree. An isosceles has two equal sides, denoted by the fact that only two of the sides are the same color. And lastly, we have scalene. I like this one the best, I think. It marches to the beat of its own drum, I think. <laughs> so a scalene triangle has no equal sides. Not Zilch. even one. Not a. Absolutely. Not a. Very good use. Of All Spanish, right. Miss Daisy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Hudson. Uh, so th those were the triangles that were classified by sides. Uh, I'm going to do the triangles that are classified classified by their angles. OK, so I always like to start off with the right angle first. Right. So remember, right angle is 90 degrees. And the way that I can remember that it's the right angle is because it looks like a student who's sitting up very, very high in their chair, right? Sitting up super straight. Normally, if you're sitting up straight and you're paying attention, you're gonna get the answers right. right. Perfect. All right, and so for the acute angles, acute angles are tiny. They're very, very cute. They're very, very tiny. So whenever you see a really tiny angle, we can call it a cute, cute angle. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then the last one, obtuse. If somebody's being purposefully obtuse, they're being a little rude. They're not really paying attention. They're kind of laying back in their chair a little bit. So this guy's reclining. He's looking a little tired. So we can remember that that's the obtuse angle. All right? Okay, so I believe after this, we're going to get into our little activity. So this is going to say that it is a quiz. It is not counted as a test. We are not grading this. This is just so we can make sure that we're all paying attention and retaining the information. So we're going to go ahead and move on. So there are four questions. We're going to start. It's going to give you a minute and 30 seconds. And we are going to be completely quiet for your quiz. We're going to give you some time and space just to do what you feel, right? So try your best. You got this. All right, ready and go ahead. Three, two, one. Just keeping time, letting everybody know you have about a minute left. All right, my little scholars, we have about 15 seconds left. Let's go ahead and finish up our activities. Fantastic. Those are very good results. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of how we've done today so far. Me too. Are we ready to move on, you think? Yes, I'm ready to move on. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, 
special quadrilaterals. <laughs> so just like with our triangles, we're going to watch a video about our special quadrilaterals. And again, it's going to prompt you to press play. We are not going to press play. We're just going to watch the video on my screen share. Is that understood? Everybody good? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. All right, let's go ahead to the YouTubes. We are going on a family vacation. Everybody is so excited for this. Me too. I'm, I'm happy for you. Yep. <laughs> Parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. Trapezoids only have one set at a time. A rectangle has four right angles. A promise has four sides that are equal. Squares have four equal sides, four right angles. But for that, have four sides. Trapezoids, squares, and rectangles. Inside each side, there will be 360 degrees. Parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. Trapezoids only have one set at a time. Tangle has four right angles, a rhombus has four sides that are equal. Squares have four equal sides, four right angles. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. Parallel rings, promises, trapezoids, squares and rectangles. If you mark the angles inside each of these. There will be 360 degrees. Yeah. I so I'm going to divulge some information to everybody really quickly. I've been singing that song all day <laughs> long in my head. It's very catchy. And little did you know, Miss Hudson has perfect pitch. So mm -hmm. I've been enjoying every second of that as well. <laughs> Should we perform? No. no. Okay. <laughs> That's for later. <laughs> All right. So we are going to be getting into our special quadrilaterals. This is just a little review of what they went over in the song. Uh, so the first starting off is a parallelogram. I love that word. Does any part of that word look familiar to you? You're right. It does. The first half of that word is parallel. That was in our review vocabulary, it right? Was. Hmm. And do you remember what parallel is? Parallel describes two lines that exist on the same plane that will never intersect each other. Mm, very good, Miss Hudson. All right, and so two pairs of parallel lines. That, that's Sucks. inside of a parallelogram. Perfect. All right, do you want to do the next one, Miss Hudson? Yeah, so then we have a trapezoid. Trapezoid. I like how that word sounds, too. It okay. sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> trapezoid. Yes, agreed. So a trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. I keep saying lines. Parallel sides. Mm-hmm. And then the next one is a rectangle, which just so happens to be my favorite. I love rectangles. Uh, so a rectangle has four right angles inside. So Miss Hudson, I see later that we have a square. What's the difference between a square and a rectangle? That is a wonderful question. So the only difference is that a square is a special kind of rectangle. Mm -hmm. So. To be a rectangle, you have to have four right angles, but to be a square, you have to have four right angles and four equal sides. That makes so much sense. That so actually leads us into our next point, a rhombus. A rhombus has four equal sides. Miss Hudson, what's the difference between a rhombus and a square? Oh, so the rhombus only has four equal sides, but it doesn't have four right angles. Very good point. Awesome. So I guess we've deduced that a rhombus, square, and a rectangle are all very different shapes. Right. Very similar, but very different at the same mm -hmm. time. I agree. So now we're going to get into our activity. It's going to be just the same as our first activity with our triangles. We're going to go ahead and get started. And again, you're going to have a minute and 30 seconds. Miss Hudson and I are both going to be completely quiet while we take this activity. And go ahead and start. I will warn you when you have about one minute left.
All right, we have about one minute left, my little scholars. Keep going. All right, about 30 seconds left, everyone. Fantastic job, everybody. Very good job. We're doing so well today. Do you agree? I agree. And thankfully, we're almost done. So you guys have trekked through this. You guys are doing amazing. All right, let's move on. Okay, so this is our final warning. Now we are going to move into our official quiz time. Mm -hmm. Our official quiz time. And so the instructions for our quiz time, you'll be taking a super short fill in the blank quiz to assess how much you remember from today's lesson. Okay, it's fill in the blank. You got this. It's only about four questions long. There is a word bank, so no problem. Shouldn't take you more than 30 seconds. Agreed. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Is everybody able to participate? Can I get a thumbs up if people are able to? Perfect, thank awesome. you, David. Thank you, Caitlin. All right, you have about 10 seconds left. Just wrap up those answers. All right, and time is up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Very good job, everybody. We're very proud of how you've done today. Mm -hmm. And we'll record those scores and get those back to you ASAP. Uh, so for the very last thing that we're doing today with the last couple minutes of class that we have, this is a collaboration board. So the question is, Based on what we learned today, why do you think it's important? That's always the question that I am wondering. Why are we learning about triangles and quadrilaterals? So a very, very quick response from all of you. You guys can go ahead and collaborate. Remember to think before you respond, okay? Keep it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and or kind. Someone said, because shapes are all around us. That's a beautiful point. Mm-hmm. Because we will see them in most of the shapes around us. Very good. These shapes are all around us every day. Perfect. A lot of us are thinking in a very similar way. I appreciate mm -hmm. this. All of the objects that surround us have these shapes. Very good. We build using a lot of these. We build. So what's a job that builds stuff with shapes? An architect. An architect. I wanted to be an architect when I was younger. Really? I wasn't very good at Legos, though, so they <laughs> didn't approve my application. Oh, I see. Understand things that fit in places. We'll use them Construction, about. very good. Mm -hmm. We see and use them every day, so I will know what to call a specific object when describing it. Perfect. These are all excellent responses. Thank you guys so much for participating. Um, so right about now, ooh, it's important in engineering. Thank you so much for your responses. These were amazing. You guys should give yourselves a round of applause. Everybody, I want to see your hands. Round of applause, big circle. All right. And that's it for us. That's all the time that we have left today. So we will see you next time. Can I get a big wave? Thank you, Miss Hudson Ties, too. I love the math. <laughs> you know, a little bit of math humor for our math class. Miss Hudson <laughs> squared. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stop, stop sharing. sharing. Excellent.